Is uh, Kula on here? Or Nicole? Tebow? Jason? Um, let's see. I'm here, Ricardo. Good to see you again. Okay. Hi, this is Debbie. Okay. Um, member Koenig and member, member Chibo will not be joining us today. Okay. Okay. Who else was the other person again? Kula? Yeah, yes, Kula and Nicole will not be joining us. Good. So, I mean, not good, but... Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, but we still have enough for a uh, quorum here, so we're good, right? Yes, Ricardo, thank you. Sorry for my delay there. No, no problem. Okay, um, well, it's 9.01 a.m. I think we should start. Um, is the moderator ready? Yes, I am, thank you. Okay, okay, good. And I, heard, I just wanted to make sure so we could uh, we we could start. It's nine oh one a.m. and um, welcome to the February sixth, twenty twenty three meeting of the Communication and Public Education Committee. My name is Ricardo Sanchez, and I'm the committee chairperson. Uh, this meeting is being conducted as a teleconference meeting via WebEx. People watching the live stream can only observe the meeting. Um, anyone interested in participating must join the WebEx meeting. Instructions are posted on our website. All lines are currently on mute. With the exception of our council, lines will remain on mute until I direct staff to open them for public comments. I will announce when we are accepting public comments. I have advised staff to allow two minutes uh, to each person providing comments. Uh, this approach is necessary to facilitate this meeting and ensure the committee can complete its business. Uh, I appreciate your understanding and patience. I will now ask the moderator to provide instructions to the public. Moderator. Thank you. This is the moderator. When the committee requests public comment, I will open the Q&A feature of WebEx and instructions will be shown on the screen. You can access the Q&A by clicking the question mark inside of the square, which is typically located bottom right corner of your WebEx screen. And in when a text box appears type the word comment and send it to all panelists thank you um, co-moderator there are the instructions on the screen so when you see the text box appear type the word comment click send make sure it goes to all panelists before clicking send and if you prefer or if you prefer to raise your hand you can raise your hand by hovering your cursor mouse over your name from the <coughs> participants panel so if you hover your cursor over your name, the outline of a hand will appear and then you will click on that outline and it'll raise your hand. If you are calling in from a phone, just press star three to raise your hand. And for those who are logged in, so either by typing in comment or by raising your virtual hand, you can unmute yourself after we give you permission, we send the request by clicking the unmute me button prompt once received. Thank you. Back to you, Chair. Uh, thank you. Uh, we will now move on to item A, which is the uh, to forum. I call this meeting to order and will call to establish a quorum. Members, as I call your name, please remember to unmute your line before speaking. Uh, Jose de la Paz. Jose de la Paz, present member of the public. Thank you. KK Ja. Yes, sir, present. Uh, Weiss. Good morning, Ricardo. Uh, Jason Weiss, public member. Good morning to you, Jason. Um, thank you. We have a poll. And, and my name is Ricardo Sanchez, obviously, and I'm the chair here. Um, thank you. We have a quorum. Let's move on to item B. Public comment on items not on the agenda in and matters for future meetings. The committee will now hear public comments on matters that are not on the, this agenda. The committee cannot discuss or take action on any uh, matter uh, raised here except to place it on a future agenda. Are there any public comments regarding items not on this agenda? Uh, moderator, uh, can you open the lines for public comments? Yes, this is the moderator. The Q&A is now open. The instructions are on the screen for your reference. Members of the public, if you would like to participate, 
click the question mark inside of the square. Again, typically lower right corner of your WebEx screen. Type the word comment in the text field that appears and make sure it goes to all panelists. If you are calling in, you can raise your hand by pressing star three. And Chair, at this time, I see no request for public comment. Would you like me to close the Q&A feature? Uh, yes, please. Okay. Uh, thank you. Do any committee members have any uh, comments? Uh, hearing none, uh, thank you. Let's move on to item C, approval of the July uh, 19, 2022 Communication and Public Education Committee meeting uh, minutes. A draft of the minutes is on your attachment one. Members, are there any comments and would anyone like to make a motion and second on the minutes? Uh, this is uh, Jose de la Paz. I make a motion to approve. Thank you. Ricardo, it's Jason. I, I will second. Thank you. Hearing a first and a second. Um, uh, before we vote, is there any public comments on the minutes? Moderator, please open the lines. The moderator, the Q and A is now open. Instructions are on the screen for your reference. Click the question mark inside of the square, type comment, send it to all panelists, or press star three to raise your hand for those calling in. Chair, I see no request. Would you like me to close the Q and A? Yes, please. Hey. Uh, thank you. I will now call a uh, roll for members to vote. Um, Jose de la Paz. Yes. Uh, Jason Weiss. Yes. Thank you. And uh, KK Da. Uh, yes. And I vote yes myself. Um, the vote passes. Thank you, members. We will now move on to item D. Uh, Discussion and consideration of uh, FAQs about mobile units. A uh, little background on it. Senate Bill 872 allows a county and city and a, a city and county or two special hospital authorities to operate a mobile unit as an extension of pharmacy license held. Authorizes the mobile unit to dispense prescription medications uh, except controlled substance under specific conditions. The measure also requires notification of the board 30 days before beginning or discontinuing use of the mobile unit. Staff has developed a standardized form for notifying the board regarding operating a mobile unit. In addition, staff is developing a, an FAQ to assist licensees in complying with the new law. Drafts of the standard ICE notification form and the FAQs are in attachment two. At today's meeting, uh, staff welcomes the committee to review the FAQs and provide any feedback and direction. Do committee members have any questions or comments for staff? Sure, this is Jose de la Paz. So I was reviewing the uh the form and I was wondering, um, I know that we state federal, state, local, um, but I didn't see in the form and a specific entry besides just the address of the uh, pharmacy information, but if it was uh, being led by a specific municipality, anywhere in there to list who that municipality was, just the signatures from the government authority, but you know, actually labeling or listing that municipality. Um, any thoughts around that, or maybe I'm just missing it? Um, if it's helpful, see, Anna, could I jump yeah. in? Yeah, thank you, Jose, for that. Uh, so typically we manage the ownership of the pharmacy um, as part of the pharmacy file. So if we have that pharmacy number, we're gonna have that ownership information reflected there. We can certainly update the form to collect it if that's the committee's um, in if that's the committee's preference, but we think we'll be able to link back to it where we have that license prefix and number, we'll be able to link back to our licensing records to collect that information. 
Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I would say um, somewhere in that uh, specific, somewhere in the order of you know the date, address, um, all the requests being made on that form, if the uh, where they're operating, uh, which county or municipality, somewhere where just um, I guess black and white, you know, at a glance, that would be nice. Uh, it's not a must. But I, I thought for myself, it would be uh, it, nice to have in there. We'll do, we can update it to reflect the authority under which they're operating. They can detail out the name of it. Perfect. And uh, as it relates to the FAQs, they were very informative. You know, I, I went through each FAQ. Uh, I, I found it, you know, I had questions prior to reading the FAQs. And when I went through FAQs, I thought, like, well, there goes the answer. I could skip through that question <laughs> for the meeting. Um, the uh, only one question that I, I have on the 30 day notice that was in the FAQs, um, I guess that would be um, there'll be an exemption if there was a natural disaster or something of that nature where it required the mobile units to be deployed, correct? Yeah, so that would be under different authority in the law. So there's there's sometimes, you know, conflicting provisions. And so for this FAQ specifically, we're trying to keep it to the to the provisions of this bill. But yes, there are separate afford authorities under that force under the 4062. So we would balance the two. Yeah, well, you, very if, you'd, if you'd like us to uh, draw more distinction, we're happy to do so. No, I think it's just for clarity and uh, for any members of the public listening in as well. But, you know, that that answers my question, but very good job with the FAQs. Uh, it was very informative. Thank you. No questions for me at this point. Yeah, we're very, we're very fortunate to have uh, great staff and uh, yeah, they're, they do fabulous work in, in uh, putting all this together for us. Um, so, and thank you. You guys do a great job. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> hey, Ricardo, thank you, members. Are, are, are there any uh, public comments? Hey, Ricardo, this is Jason. I just yeah. wanted to, to thank staff. I think that uh, their FAQs are, oh, are, are rather comprehensive. Um, it really does outline exactly what we're trying to accomplish here. And uh, I would like uh, staff to, to track this information as we roll out these mobile units. Really, if we could get an update uh, in subsequent meetings uh, as to the utilization and if there's any additional input uh, from the rollout on this on, on additional questions that uh, we didn't think of or, or didn't foresee. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Good point. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll stay on top of that or have uh, updates from our, from our staff as to the, um, you know, any uh, problems they may foresee or have and uh, keep us updated. Um, thank you, uh, members. Are are there any uh, public comments? This is the moderator. The Q and A is now open. The instructions are on the screen for your reference. If you would like to participate and you're logged in, press the question mark inside of the square, typically lower right corner of your WebEx screen, and type comment in the text box that appears. For those who are calling in, you can press star three to raise your hand. Chair, at this time, there are no requests for public comment. Would you like me to close the Q&A feature? Uh, yes, please. Okay, thank you. I apologize. Yeah. I apologize for the interruption, uh, Chairperson Sanchez. Would the committee like? Would the committee be interested in offering a recommendation, a more formal recommendation to the board? Um, you know, specific to the FAQs. And the notification form, you know, that they, um, you know, you want to offer a recommendation um, that the FAQs are appropriate as presented and the form itself with uh, a modification to specify the municipality. Would you like us to update that and then we can um, advise the board of your formal recommendation? If so, perhaps a motion might be appropriate in that area. Yeah, I'll, I'll entertain a motion on that. Somebody wants to make it. I make a motion as uh, recommended by staff, you know, with the uh, text that was just presented. Okay, that was Jose de la Paz. Can I get a second? If that motion is sufficient, I will second it. Okay, Jason, he seconded it. Um, <clears throat> okay, we have a first and a second. Um, 
Anne, do we have to open this up to uh, public comment? Yes. Before we vote? Okay. Okay, moderator, can we open it up for um, uh, uh, the public? Yes, this is the moderator. The Q&A is now open. Instructions on the screen. If you're logged in, press that question mark inside a square, type comment in the text field and send it to all panelists. Or those who are calling in can press star three to raise their hands. No requests have been submitted. Would you like me to close the Q&A feature? Yes, please. Hey, thank you. I will uh, not call a roll for members to vote. Um, Jose de la Paz. Yes. Jason Weiss. Yes. And uh, KK Ja. Yes. <clears throat> thank you. And I vote yes. So the motion passes. And uh, Anne, I think um, that you guys did a great job. And the recommendation that uh, uh, you've made is uh, adopted. Um, let's um, move on now to, uh, let's go on to update on communication and public education ac activities by staff. Um, and can you go over the script, the staff outreach, and also the uh, new me news media uh, items? Sure, happy to do so. So the um, the most recent <clears throat> issue of the script was released the end of January. It focused on many things, including uh, recent changes in pharmacy law that occurred on um, that became effective the beginning of the year. Uh, so that information was released. Uh, subscriber alert went out uh, to the various listers, and the information posted on our website along with that new issue of the script. Uh, with respect to the staff outreach, there is information included in the meeting materials. We did uh, provide our day-long prescription drug abuse prevention training that is comprised of modules of various different um, elements of prescription drug abuse, including correspondent responsibility, uh, prescription drug diversion trends. We do have our partners from the Department of Justice come and give a presentation on um, the cure system, and then we cover some other areas as well, including um, pharmacy law changes. So that was provided in November, as well as one of our inspectors provided uh, to a local chapter on um, inspections. Uh, also included in the meeting materials is uh, feedback or um, information on the public education campaign that the board staff worked on specific to um, the Opioid Awareness Month that was done earlier. So you can see um, the information that we released there. Uh, we did partner with um, the Department of Consumer Affairs and the Medical Board of California to expand our reach. And so they shared our messaging as well. We did use different themes for the various weeks and did both consumer facing as well as licensee facing messages, um, focusing on specific types of messaging for the various weeks during the month. Uh, we have a couple of initiatives that are still um, under development that we hope to bring back to the July meeting um, with some ideas and progress, including that public awareness campaign about treating pharmacy staff with courtesy. And this really is a springboard from the um, Medication Air Reduction and Workforce Committee and some of those findings from that well-being um, index and some of the other information there where it's talking about, you know, the the distress percentage of pharmacists and you know how some of the some of the distress uh, that pharmacists are experiencing are in part due to some of those negative um, patient interactions that are happening. So really trying to um, reinforce one, the importance of speaking with a pharmacist about the importance of your patient medications, but also the importance of recognizing them as healthcare professionals and treating them as such. So hoping to partner with both DCA and perhaps some national organizations as well to get that camp uh, to get that campaign going. Um, the Institute for Safe Medication Practices has some great resources available on medication error reductions. We do try to um, promote them uh, a lot of their information through our subscriber alert system, but looking to see 
if there's opportunities to do some more education in that area. Again, that was kind of a springboard from the Medication Error Reduction and Workforce Committee. We, um, the ISMP did come and give a presentation and the committee thought it would be helpful to make sure that our licensees are well of this as a resource for them. So those are some of the um, items that are um, under development for the committee's work. Um, based on your direction and staff will be working on. There's a couple of other issues that the um, committee has requested that staff work on as well, including um, developing a more engaging process for the self-assessment. So staff is working with the department on that as well and hope to have updates um, in the future for that. Uh, so Chairperson Ricardo, unless there's um, any additional questions, I'll go ahead and turn it back to you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, let's see, do committee members have any comments or any uh, on any of these items? Uh, this is Jose De La Paz. Just on the um, social media and communications that goes out, is, is there specific platforms besides uh, Twitter that we're communicating outbound? So at this time, the only social media that the board has is Twitter, but the department and others do use other platforms as well. So when we um, ask for their assistance, they are sharing, I believe, on multiple platforms um, for their um, subscribers. And I would just uh, make a recommendation that you know we consider um, platforms that are you know utilized as well by our youth, right? Because some of the campaigns are targeting uh, the youth as far as awareness uh, is concerned, and you know we do see a, an uptick in you know, opioids uh, being used by, you know, teens in high school. And so we would, you know, I would recommend that, you know, we'd look at, you know, TikTok and others that, you know, are being utilized uh, by that demographic uh, primarily. And not so much, you know, they're not utilizing as much of Twitter as as other um, age groups, but I would recommend, you know, we, we take a look at disseminating the information also in other platforms, just my two senses. Yeah. Okay. Um, any uh, other comments from uh, board members? Okay. Um, thank you, members. Are there any uh, public comments? Moderator? Thank you. This is the moderator. The Q&A is now open. The instructions are on the screen for your reference. If you would like to participate, click the question mark inside of the square, typically bottom right corner of your WebEx screen, type the word comment in the text field that appears and make sure it goes to all panelists before clicking send. You can also raise your hand by hovering your cursor over your name and pressing on the outline of the hand once it appears. For those who are calling in, press star three to raise your hand. At this time, I see no request for public comment. Would you like me to close the Q&A feature? Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, Anne, do you want to go over the news media also for the fourth quarter of 2022? Sure, so, excuse me, sorry for the frog in my throat. So um, attachment four includes um, the, the media um, contacts that have been done since July. Um, so for the last six months of the year, given that, uh, you know, we uh, are meeting now um, semi-annually that is the last six months of the quarter. So this is outreach um, or inquiries that Bob received over the last six months. So they are kind of documented high level context that he had. Um, not all inquiries necessarily result in a story being run, but these are the contacts that were met from him um, with, uh, I, I hope it's okay for me to say this. So um, Bob yeah. has decided to retire. So a uh, huge loss to the board on the, with his retirement, um, the board will be uh, working to partner with the Department of Consumer Affairs uh, while we go through the uh, while we go through the recruitment process and um, you know at the staff level. And I know that Ricardo has been always so vocal about his appreciation for all of the hard work that Bob has done. Um, you know, huge shoes to fill. Uh, we're grateful that the department will assist us with some of this media outreach um, and uh, response, you know, while we're working to backfill. Yes, uh, Bob Davila has done a fabulous job in assisting us with our, this committee and providing information along with Ann and the whole staff 
this has always been a like you know a, a team effort there um uh led with Anne, but uh bob davila has always provided everything we've ever needed in a timely manner and gone uh, way beyond what they had to do uh, to make us all look good here. And uh, we've been very accurate with information. We've been very responsive. And um, I, I have nothing but praise to uh, say about Ann, Bob Davila, and also the staff behind the scenes that, that do a lot of this work. Um, so we're able to help the public and get information out. So again, uh, congratulations to uh, Bob Davila for his retirement. And a thank you to the staff and thank you to you too, Ann. Um, with that, um, I'd like to move on to the final agenda item. Uh, it's basically the future meeting dates. Uh, the next communication and public education committee meeting will be set for July 19th, 2023. Uh, this will be my last meeting since my eight years will be up and I will uh, no longer be on the pharmacy board as of June. Uh, so thank you all for for uh, having me as a committee uh, chair and it's been a uh, wonderful experience and I've, I've learned a lot over these last eight years and uh, it's, it's been very fulfilling. So thank you. If there's no further comments from the committee. Yeah, Ricardo, this, uh, is, this is Jason. Yeah, I'd like ahead. to take vice chair's privilege and say thank you. Uh, thank you for your steady hand in chairing these meetings for the last few years. Uh, you. you really have been great and 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 I value sure. that you uh, that you value uh, your fellow board members input and uh, certainly as Ann has brought up uh, your appreciation for staff and the grid work that they do. So thank you uh, and good job. Thank you and. Um, I'm not sure who's stepping in, but I, I, I can almost see who who would be in there right away. And I, I wish you guys luck for uh, the uh, your future meetings and uh, you know uh, driving this committee. It's a great committee and uh, it does provide uh, the first contact with the public and also with our licensees. And uh, it's 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 important, you know, first impressions and uh, getting information uh, correct and also being very helpful to the the public and you know. Uh, citizens we represent. So thank you. If there's no further comments from the committee, uh, this concludes the agenda and this meeting is adjourned. Thank you, uh, everyone. That will conclude it. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Thank you, Ricardo. Bye. -bye. Thank yes. you, everybody. Thank you.